Hello everybody, today I'm going to be demoing our new Mac script called Displacement Roof Surfaces. Uh, I've got it here in a toolbar and let's go ahead and run it. Okay, here we go. Um, the script will actually create some uh, images on the fly and uh, so you need a place to store them. So uh, before you get started, make sure that you go ahead and select a folder. Uh, the second option here is to create uh, some underlying geometry so that when the displacement renders uh, you don't actually see underneath any of the tiles. Um, you don't want to see any blue sky underneath. Uh, so this creates just some black geometry, but basically just a copy of this. Uh, here's our displacement options. I'm going to go ahead and use the V-Ray uh, displacement option. It'll just go ahead and um, create uh, modifiers that are appropriate uh, for the roof tile. And then for our UV map control parameters here, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, make these a little bit larger. You, you want them to exceed the size of the largest roof plane. And since we're dealing with a fairly large roof here, I think 50 foot by 50 foot should be enough to cover it. Okay, so first thing we want to do here is go ahead and pick our roof object. And then go ahead and select edges that will see receive the ridge tiles. Um, this would be any of the tiles, uh, these upper ridges, um, gables, and um, and hips. I've got a, a selection set already created here. And so there they are. Um, there's quite a few. And then we go ahead and click Create. And you go ahead and see the progress bar. It tells you what it's doing. Um, it's going to go ahead and create UV coordinates for each face uh, where the map gizmo is aligned to the bottom edge of every uh, roof plane so that um, the roof tiles look like they would be installed as they install them in the real world uh, with a full tile on the bottom edge not at the top edge. Now it's creating geometry for each and every one of those ridges which you'll see here in a moment. Okay. This is what it looks like first. We can go ahead and close these rollouts. And um, you can shift back and forth here between uh, the diffuse color map and the displacement image, the main displacement map anyway. Um, on the fly, you can go ahead and change your color. It's pretty slick. And uh, you can also adjust the variation in the tiles. Um, in a future release, we're hoping to um, do something with a little more detail on the tiles as far as the coloring with some splotches and streaks and stuff like that. Now, on the tile size, these tiles are definitely a bit large. Um, you know, right now it looks like they're running about 23 inches tall and 16 inches wide, which is too big. So let's take the tile height down to about 14 inches. And then... Uh, the width down to about eight or nine usually looks pretty nice. Um, that looks a lot scaled a lot nicer. Um, <coughs> and then you can go ahead and close this. Now, if you want to make modifications at a later time, you can go ahead and open your material editor. And what you'll find here is uh, a multi sub object material with the main roof tile and then the ridge tiles materials. Um, you can close that roll out and then you'll find these same controls down here where you can uh, go ahead and, and uh, tweak the tile width and the vertical um, dimensions of them as well. Same thing with the color. Um, you can open and close these max files and when you uh, reopen them you'll still find these same controls here. So pretty slick. Hope you guys uh, can get a lot of use out of this. Should save you a lot of time.